All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right, staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on a narrow straight gate path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciative, and take it one day at a time. Most definitely, y'all. Let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another chance to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes in our back, and a roof over our head. Let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out, guiding us through the morning, getting us through the afternoon, getting us through the evenings, getting us through the nights, the weeks, the weekends. He is constantly looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God. His word has only begun sent down for our sins. There's so much things the Lord has done for us throughout our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his mercy endures forever. Amen. He protects his people. He keeps his promises. So always keep him first. Always worship him. Always praise him and thank him in various ways. Amen. Most definitely. Welcome, everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. Let us always uplift each other in Christ and encourage each other in the Lord. Let us always pray for each other, intercede for one another, one another comfort each other. All those amazing, powerful things, people. Brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world, let us be together on one accord for the Lord. Amen. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth. All the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to all the churches and ministries out there with the sound doctrine, the peace, the love, the fellowship, the gatherings, and the services. Much love to all the previous martyrs, current martyrs, and future martyrs, the great, the brave, courageous, bold believers out there who are going through it for the gospel, who are being firm in the faith, who are steadfast for his namesake. Stay strong and encouraged out there, okay, people? Much love to all the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to all the grafted and Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, kindreds all over the world. Much love to all the brand new creatures of Christ, all the born again people. Much love to all types of believers out there who just became a believer, who just got baptized, who just repented. God bless all of you. Welcome, family. Greetings. Shalom. Love you all most definitely. Welcome, everyone, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faiths, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath. Praise the Lord, all the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fishes in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, grafted in, it is all right. Let's gather together and praise the Most High. Sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, praise him. Rejoice, always rejoice. Make a joyful noise, make a joyful sound, cry out to him, dance, play an instrument, sing, do what you got to do. Always express yourself to the Most High. He is always watching us, so always serve him with gladness and joy, and always worship his spirit of truth. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves, and let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until the sun comes back. Amen. He has come back like a thief in the night in a twinkling of an eye. At an hour, nobody knows but the Father. So let's be alert, sober, vigilant, watchful, prayed up, steadfast, firm. Let us keep being washed by the water, by the word, the washing of the water through the word. Let's keep our lamps and our oils. And let's constantly be on point in these times that we're in with our purpose and our calling, okay? Let the Lord keep revealing himself to us more often through dreams, vision, encounters, and various ways of communication. Let us know the Lord better. Let's get more close to him. Let's seek his face. Draw near to God. He will draw near to you. Let's obey the gospel. Let's obey the law, statute, of commandments. Let's obey all of God's word. Anything the most has told us personally according to our life, our calling, our purpose, our situation, our gifts, our talents, our circumstances, handle it, people. Amen. Most definitely. All right, y'all, so better days ahead for you people in these times that we're in. The world is getting more crazy, but let your personal life get better for the Lord. Amen. Now, today's message, what we will do is go through Jen DeLeon's church note. And then from there, we will close out with a prayer. We will close out with a priestly blessing. And we will close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise is only but God's son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. All right, y'all. So the title of this church note is The Grace of Holding Space. Do you accept you for who you are right now? Do you accept you for who God created you to be? Or are you spending this moment wishing you were different, wishing you looked different, had differently instead of accepting where you are right now? This church note also includes the book of Luke, chapter 15, verses 1 through 2. Continuation of it. 
All right. We don't make enough space for other people's experience if it doesn't line up with what we think they should be experiencing. In order to hold space, you must allow someone to have their experience. Before we try to get to a place to fix someone, why don't we just listen to someone? Sometimes we express what we're dealing with and express it to someone not holding space for us. Then they, sh- then they hold it against us. I was just expressing where I was. I didn't know you were going to use it against me and judge me. Why don't we just shut our mouth and pray for someone when we don't know what they're doing instead of judging? You have no idea what God is doing in someone's life that you're crit- critiquing. Part of holding space is not trying to change a person. In order for me to hold space so they can feel safe and they connect with me, and once they connect with me, everything will change in their life. Acceptance equals the ability to allow people, circumstances, and situations to be as they are. When you demand for someone to be different, you have a demand for them to be different on your timetable and in your way, and then they don't change the way you want them to change, and you say, I'm done with you. But acceptance says, this is where you are, and I'm not going to put the demand on you, that you change because you will change on your time according to what God is doing in you. Acceptance equals taking people as they are and to do so without exception, without expect, expectation that the person will change while hoping the person will change in a positive way, including myself. You cannot love someone you don't accept. Some of you are dating someone now and you like certain things, but you don't like some things. So you're trying to change the things you don't like. And that's not love because you're not accepting them for how they are when they are and If you don't love them now, let them go. You can't connect to someone you don't accept. When you feel accepted by someone, you feel connected. When someone feels accepted by you, they feel connected to you. If you want your relationships to grow stronger, practice more acceptance. When we don't feel accepted, we won't share our emotional location. When we don't feel safe, we don't share where we really are. God wants you to know you are so valuable to me. I had to pull out. I had to pull you out of that situation. I know you cried yourself here, but I had to pull you out because that situation was not at the level of your value, so it had to go. I love you. You're valuable. You're so valuable that I will allow hurt because I know it'll help. Don't let situations and circumstances devalue you. You are valuable, but you got to know that. We get caught up in the re- in the reward part, but not the relationship part with God. You've been praying for the rewards and what's in his hand rather than for his hand. Some of the reason why God may be holding back certain answered prayers is because Your character is not yet at the level to handle what you're praying for, and you're getting mad at God that he hasn't released it. You better thank God he hasn't released it because the blessing he's trying to bring in your life might crush you instead of building you up. Be careful of being impatient to receive what God has for you. Everything is on a timetable, and you are included. There are times I've been guilty of going after those things the way I wanted, independent of God. It's really easy to let your ambition get the best of you. Don't put yourself in a situation where you betray what you believe through your behavior. We serve a God of timing. If it hasn't happened yet, it's not because it won't happen. It's just going to happen in its time. There's a message in every mess. You've been in certain situations and relationships that have been so beneath who you are. But God says, I'll let you stay until it's time for you to realize to get a realization of who you are and what your worth is. Some of you have been on a job that God has been telling you to leave for years, but you say, how am I going to, am I, how am I going to get better? God says, do you know who I am and what I have? You've got to hold yourself of higher esteem. The mess you are going through is to remind you of not only who you are, but who he is. Repent isn't just what you do in your actions, it's also what you do in your heart and mind. Stop ridiculing, stop ridiculing yourself and let God restore you. Some of you have been mad at God. God is saying, why are you mad? I've given you the intellect, the talent, the resource, the network. Why don't you go get it? If you want to know how strong your relationship with God is, if you are a receipt keeper of other people's receipts, that means you're not spending enough time with the Father. When you have a strong relationship, I don't have time to keep up with your receipts. I got mine. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the most high God of heaven and earth. He is the God of Shem, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel, God of the Hebrews. He is the God of Jeshurun. He is the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Praise the most high. His only begotten son died for our sins, rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah for shedding his blood for all of us. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord. He is the advocate, the almighty, true and living God. Praise the Lord, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, 
wonderful counselor, the creator of the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel. God is with us, eternal life, everlasting father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am that I am, the I am who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, 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 Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Nassai, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna, of the highest praise. Hosanna, the son of David. Blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. King of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader, commander, the life, the lie of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is holiness, the Lord is my banner, the Lord is my portion, my strength, my rock, my refuge, my good fortress, my high tower, my deliverer, my redeemer, my salvation, my strength, my song, my refuge, my good fortress, my shield, my buckler. My provider, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Be Yahweh, Yahai Yesha, Yeshua Hamashiach, Barakatha Shalom Shalom, Yeshua Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yehosha, Ahai Yeshaya, Adonai, Abba, He is a consuming fire. He is the father of lights, the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician, can heal all things. He's the carpenter, can fix all things with God. All things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days. The rest on the seventh day. You can fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree, y'all. Call on him and he'll show you great mighty things. Search and seek him with all your heart and you will find him. He is a rewarder to those who seek him diligently. Know that he exists. Believe in him. Trust in him. Have faith in him. Your faith has made you well. Your faith has saved you. Your faith has blessed you. Your faith is how you overcome the world and all your problems. The just shall live by faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. We know that for the rest of our lives, the outstretched arm of God will be in our lives forever. The mighty hand of God will be in our lives forever. The, f- the finger of God will be in our lives f- forever. Healing, restoration, deliverance, miracles, signs, wonders. Ask the Father what you need in the Son's name and it shall be given to you. We are in agreement with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. God is one. Hallelujah. He got us, y'all. He's the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God, our savior, our holiness, our husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice, the Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the resurrection, the resurrected, the life, the revelation, the revelation. Later, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator. The stone to build is rejected. The true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. He is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life. Praise him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah, the word made flesh, the living word, the everlasting king, the sinless high priest, the way everlasting. Praise him. We know that every word of God is true, pure, and flawless, as the book of Proverbs says. We know that his word is pure, fine, silver, just as David said in the Psalms. And we know that his word is a double-edged sword, as the book of Hebrews says. Amen. We touch and agree, y'all. Prayers up for the tribe of Levi. Prayers up for all the poor people, all the widows, all the orphans out there, the fatherless. Prayers up for all the elders, the children, the middle-aged people, the men, women. Prayers up for everybody all over the world. It's the joiners, the, tr- the strangers, the, the travelers, the, the refugees. Prayers up for everybody all over the world. Amen. What I'll do is I'll close out, give you all the priestly blessing and the prayer on the way out. All right. So here we go. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debt doors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the honor and the glory forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Shalom. Amen. Selah. Barakatha. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I love you all. Praying for you all. Peace.